I guess I've always really been um, interested in news. I mean, when I was little, I used to actually kind of enjoy watching local newscasts. I know most kids mm -hmm. are like, this is boring. I want to watch cartoons, but I would enjoy it. And I would really enjoy seeing, um, again, the, the on air, you know, broadcast kind of version um, of news. And I just always thought that was something that maybe was, I was strong at. Um, I also did um, speech and debate um, in high school more so on speech. So I think public speaking has always been um, something that I've enjoyed and something that I think is a, a strong skill for me. Um, and, and yeah, I think I was able to further that at Trinity because they had this great, you know, program called Tiger TV, where students have the ability to do full on hands on work, um, something that as I've gone on to an actual, you know, a career in news that I've really looked back and, and really have appreciated um, just because I, I realized how much that helped me in the career I am now. Um, so I think, yeah, just taking advantage of every opportunity that I had. Um, and I think just learning more about news and broadcasting um, kind of got me to where I here to, got me to where I am now. Um, so actually, in the time that I've been here in Grand Junction at KKCO and KJCT News, um, I've actually kind of, I'm not the position that I came in as. I actually came in as a multimedia journalist, which basically means like, you know, you pitch, edit, write, interview, you do everything for your stories. Um, and then after about nine months, I, I guess, was kind of promoted um, to being a um, anchor and producer of my shows. Um, so um, right now I'm actually the morning anchor. Um, COVID has made that a little bit complicated, but very soon I will be taking that on. And then, um, right now I'm currently the, um, noon, we call it midday live, our, our noon anchor. And I also produce the show myself. So I am, um, completely responsible for the show. Um, but you know, basically I come in around 7.00 AM, um, produce the show every day. Um, we have, these segments um, and they're usually lighthearted news because new news is kind of more lighthearted. So uh, we do things like pet of the week um, where we have um, a cute, you know, uh, pet that needs a home from one of the local soldiers here. I, you know, get to interview um, the president of a major university here. I get to interview, you know, the executive director of the health department um, and, and also just local businesses. And I've gone to do a lot of really fun interviews and I really like doing it. Um, and then, yeah, I produced the show. It's an hour long show. And then I hop on TV and anchor it for about an hour. Um, and then also I've just been able to help, you know, reporters with their daily duties. Um, and I'm actually about to work on a project pretty soon where I'm going to be, um, basically we, at our station, we do a, um, top 10 stories at the end of a year. So we look back and see what top 10 stories were the most influential, were the most, you know, hard hitting stories within our area. And we basically, you know, put together a recap of those 10 stories. So that's kind of my task for the next, I guess, two weeks before, you know, we head into the holidays. Um, so yeah, so I, I do a mul multitude of things, but, uh, you know, recently I've uh, been anchoring and producing and I love it. Um, communication skills. Um, I think, you know, people, I know sometimes will, people who aren't, aren't in communication or before I went to college, people would say, oh, communication, what are you going to do with that? Um, but communication is actually extremely helpful if you go into a career where communication is the most important thing. So such as marketing or being in the news industry. So um, communication is key. Um, being able to not just, you know, speak on, you know, air like I do, but, you know, being able to talk to people in ways that, um, I guess, for example, you know, when like you're doing, a, when I was like doing reporting full time, like if you have to do kind of really hard stories where, you know, someone's child just died or their, you know, family member is sick or, you know, it's a really hard story, being able to talk to people and make them feel you know, as comfortable as I can, even though I've only been doing this for a year and a half, you know, I've, I have lots to learn, but um, I think being able to make someone feel comfortable and open up to you um, is something that I think is a big skill and a big um, strength to learn um, in my industry. 
Um, I think just hard work and dedication. Um, this is definitely a very tough job. Um, it's, it's something that I think looks very glamorous to a lot of people and behind the scenes it is anything but glamorous. I did not go into this job to be on TV. Um, I mean, that was part of it, but, um, the, the, the TV is not, should not be the main focus of why you want to be on a, a news reporter on television. Um, that should be secondary. It, it should be about wanting to work hard and to tell stories that are important to your community. Um, so I'd say hard work for sure. Um, the ability to shoot and, and record and learn to edit at, at the communication department. Like if you show this to anyone and tell them it is so important, like take advantage of that. If, if something with video editing, or j j if you want to go into the news industry as on camera talent, as a producer, as a new, whatever you want to be. It is so cool. Tiger TV is so cool. And I didn't like fully appreciate that until after I left that like, you can just check out top of the line equipment. I mean, you guys have some of the best equipment for college students and being able to check that out as often as you like, whenever you'd like. And I would just really encourage people to take advantage of that because it's super cool what Trinity has to offer. Really, really cool. So like when I started this job, I came in as a multimedia journalist, which is like, it's much more difficult than like what I'm doing now. Um, just because you're doing two stories a day, you have to pitch your stories. You have to you do interviews, like go out there, interview the people, get footage, come back, edit it, you know, put in your graphics for your story. Like you have to do, and then go out and, and be on TV. Like it's a lot to do in one day and you have to do two of those. So I thought it was, I thought it was going to be difficult, but I thought, I felt like I was actually very prepared um, from the experience that I had with Trinity and internships. Mm -hmm. I think because I'm at a small market, um, I think there are some things that maybe I expected were going to be a little bit different um, as far as I guess certain duties that I ended up taking on that I thought maybe like someone else would be responsible for them. Even for someone, I mean, I intend to go into news for the long, you know, for, I think at this point for a while, but I think if, even if you're someone who maybe wanted to give it a try and wanted to learn, I think I've known a lot of coworkers that kind of realized that maybe this isn't the career they wanted to go into, but they're really glad that they did it um, because it's taught them a lot. And maybe they've kind of realized that they want to go down this path or, you know, they realize they are better suited for this job. Um, so I, I think overall, Yes, it is what I expected. Like I said, it's, it's a tough job, especially being a multimedia journalist. Honestly, reporters have a very tough job. And like I said, I think people seem to think it's just this easy, like, oh, you're on TV. You don't do anything. All you do is just, uh, it is, I can't extra, I can't trust enough. It's anything but it is very tough work, you know, and, and I think sometimes there is not that this should let people bother them, but there, you know, are a lot of people who don't trust the media and, you know, I've been called fake news, like to my face. Um, and, and, you know, but I don't let it bother me. I mean, I know what I'm doing is, you know, I'm literally just telling the community um, facts and information. There's no agenda behind what we're doing here. Local news is extremely different from national news. Um, we're really just trying to let the community out know what's going on around them and that's it. Um, so that's, you know, it sometimes has been a challenge, you know, just, um, getting used to the position, um, when you're starting here again, it's, it's a lot of really tough deadlines to meet, you know, you can, um, sometimes getting a story going on a day, sometimes because I'm in a small market again, we don't have a lot of breaking news. So um, sometimes not a lot would happen here. So getting a story going is tough sometimes. Um, and then also, you know, it, it can be kind of draining sometimes. Um, you know, you just I remember when I was reporting, like I would just be like, oh, it's Friday, you know, you're you're just like, yes, it's the weekend, you know, oh, not in, in a way that's, you know, necessarily negative, but you know, everyone gets tired from, you know, work that they do. Um, because it's work. So um, those have definitely been some challenges. Um, but 
it also comes with a lot of accomplishments. I think um, I did put in a lot of work um, as a reporter. And I think in some ways it kind of helped me getting moved to a position that I um, wanted to do more so than reporting, which was anchoring. Um, and that's, I think what I've kind of always thought was my stronger suit was being at the desk rather maybe than being a reporter. I think I, I think I do have strong assets in both. Um, but, but I think, yeah, I think that's been a huge accomplishment for me is, is getting to a position where I would like to be and, and being recognized by my news director, um, and, and, you know, her thinking that I'm doing well. I mean, pre-COVID, letting the community know what's going on around them. I mean, even though I'm not from here, I'm not from Colorado, something still about, you know, when you do a story that's really impactful, um, I'll, I'll like, I guess, tell what one of my favorite stories I've ever done um, was this um, mailman. He worked for the U.S. Post Office, and we heard about him from his supervisor. His supervisor contacted us, and basically the story was that this mailman um, basically was on his route, and he, um, there was a man in the area who I think was having some, um, a mental health crisis, and he was threatening people with a knife, neighbors in the neighborhood, and the mailman stopped him and he, you know, didn't let any him, this guy hurt anyone. Um, and he, he like is the mailman. He just went up and, and like held the guy down and he was a hero and went also not just that, but like, I obviously took on the story cause I thought that's such a great story. And then I got to meet the mailman and he had just one of the kindest hearts. I think just meeting someone for the first time, he was amazing. And he was just like, I do to get in a heartbeat you know, to save, you know, cause this was his route. These were his neighbors that he knows. And, and just showing a community about this really cool person. And then also seeing the feedback that he got that the school in that neighborhood, like put up a whole sign the next day. Cause they saw the story and they said like, thank you, Pedro. That was his name. And like, that was just so cool to know that like you know, he did this really cool story, but that I could share it with people and people now know and could thank him for a really uh, brave thing that he did. So it's like stories like that, I think are just like, make me like think again, like this is so important, like, you know, why you're doing this or even the, the tough stories that weren't as fun. Um, you know, when I had to cover this little girl who died, um, it was really, really sad, but um, it was important show, you know, to also pass it on to the community because it was important. It's not something that can just go unheard or untalked about. So I think those things are definitely things that motivate me. Um, and then with COVID, that's something totally different. And I think that's some, I've seen this a lot, but I think a lot of journalists, you know, in, in TV and in newspaper on web are, you know, communicating COVID specific to your community and like sharing the stories of people who have lost family members or people who are suffering financially, again, is another important reason that like, we just want to share people's stories um, in a way that is important and it's not biased, it has no agenda. It's, it's just um, telling the facts and telling the information. Not as much so so much my job now as an anchor and producer. Like I still go into work every day. Um, they have spaced us all out. We've been spaced out since March when things took off. Um, so I actually have my little like office. I'm in the creative services little office. Um, so that's my space. I actually really like it up there because I have my own space now. Um, I'm on the second floor. Whereas like we all used to be in the newsroom together, like, you know, the next desk over we're all there. So that's like, I guess the major thing for me is that um, I'm in my own space now. I'm away from everyone. If you're walking around our station, you have to wear a mask. Like anytime you leave your space, you have to wear a mask anywhere. So like that too. Um, and I guess also kind of like the social like interaction of like not being able to talk as much with all my coworkers. Some I like never see because some, like I was going to say, some have been working from home like this whole time. Some work from home half the time. Um, 
and I know it's much different for them because they have to like edit everything from home, which I know is more difficult. Um, so I've been very like lucky in that way that my, uh, I haven't changed that much since COVID took off. Just kind of those, you know, little things. So I'm contracted here for a little um, while. So um, I'm not like looking for a job at the moment. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of situated here, which is actually kind of nice during the pandemic. But um, I mean, I was assumed by the time my contract is up that Hopefully COVID will be a little more controlled. Um, but I, at this point, um, I'm, you know, thinking about some options, um, you know, of moving on to another station. Um, you know, I would, I guess it kind of depends what the job is and kind of the location. Um, you know, there's a number of factors I'm considering, like, you know, being closer to my family, um, you know, being in maybe a larger city, um, being around, uh, you know, my boyfriend where I'm in a relationship and long distance has been kind of hard at some points. Um, but there's a number of factors that I'm, uh, considering. So, but no, definitely keeping my options open. Um, I mean, I've loved being on, you know, camera. So I think that's something I want to continue with, but, um, yeah, we'll kind of just see where it goes. Really do this goes for anyone do what makes you happy um I mean I've seen people that even my age um that I went to Trinity with that you know started a job and like immediately hated it um and they got out of it and I was actually really happy for them that they went nope this is not for me I need to totally shift course and that's a really tough thing to do to just think you want to do one thing and then you try it and you're like absolutely not but I'd say really just do what makes you happy. You don't want to be miserable in, you know, something that you do every day because it's just going to be dreadful. Um, you know, you should work is work, but it should be something that you like to do and something that you look forward to. And I actually do look forward to going to work every day. You know, I'm excited to see what, you know, I can do and always bettering myself and, you know, working on my delivery and, and, and doing, you know, little things I would look forward to that. And I think that's something that everyone should want in their career. Um, I'd say in this job, don't get discouraged. Like sometimes, you know, it can be discouraging if you've worked really hard in a story and then like, I don't know, you get an email from a viewer and they like, didn't like it or, or I don't know, or something, or don't get discouraged you know, you did, you know what you did, you worked hard, your coworkers know what you're going through. You know, your news director should, you know, know what you're, you know, that you're working hard. So just have a lot of confidence in, in yourself, surround yourself with positive people. Um, I know that like my family has been so supportive of me, um, of everything. My boyfriend has been very supportive. Friends have been very supportive. So surround yourself with good, positive people um, that love you and encourage you at anything that you do. Um, it's like a life lesson there. I think that's about it. <laughs> okay, great. I will stop recording now.